light another torch. Let's get this going. Let's see what's in here. It's... Oh! Just regular humans. Um... That is a good question, Kaitan. Not all of it. There, those beginner videos that I made were from version 0.24, um, and so we're on 0.26 now in Dungeon Crawl. So some of the information is out of date, but most of it should still be pretty good. Uh, thank you, Hydra. I appreciate that. No, I did see that there was a big sale on the Twitch. Let me go through... I mean, on the Switch, rather. Let me go see if I can uh, find that uh, later tonight. All right. We got some big boys here. Look at this guy. He's been eating a lot. Uh, he looks quite scary, but we we're going to be okay. We're going to stun uh, this guy. He's hard to stun. Yeah, but it was worth a shot. Now, these guys are actually both in the back row, so I can blind them. Yeah, Kaiten, um, I think Half-Orc is also really, really strong as a beginner class. Oh, cool, Thudding. Yeah, I actually have never beaten the game, so I'm looking to beat the game for my first time. I've started and stopped this game several times, getting distracted, um, and I'm, like, trying to commit to just finally beating it, because it's such a good game. And it is long, JR, and what I'm hoping is that, like, I can beat it around the time that the Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out. Let's put the bleed on this guy. You got a cat of nine tails? Well, so do I, dude. We've got the same weapon. We shopped at the same weapon store. All right, let me think about this. What do I want to do? Um, let's just hit this guy. We get a bonus because he's human. Man, we put a lot of hurt on this dude. He's almost dead. Oh, he's so close. He has one health. What a jerk. No. Uh -oh. oh, man, he got a bleed on somebody. That's shameful. All because he has one health. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plague grenade these folk. Yeah, it was announced. It's supposed to be at some point in the you know this year, but I don't know if COVID has pushed back the development. I think it's actually going to be an Epic Games exclusive, but I'm not sure about that. Ouch. Boy, that wasn't good. Uh, I'm not going to do this. I'll go ahead and just heal some stress over here. Epic Games. JR, if you don't have Epic Games, you should get it. It's uh, They give away so many free games right now. It's great. Wow, these guys are dusting us. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. All right, well, whatever. You're gone. It's quote unquote free. Yeah, exactly. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the. It's mud. true, Conrad. Oh, you pay for it. You pay for it in so many ways. I can't resist. I'm a. I'm a helpless gamer. I. Uh, when they say free, good old games. Humble Bundle, whatever it is, I'm on it. All right, we got a big clamshell here. What could go What could go wrong, right? A live oyster. Who knows Who knows what hides inside? I think I can pry this open with a shovel, um, but I don't want to use my shovel because if I actually come against a barrier and I can't pry open the barrier, I will be really sad indeed. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that, Crowan. I didn't know that they uh, paid the developers more than Steam. It makes sense, though. I bet Steam is just like, we're so big, we don't have to give the developers jack squat. So we won't. All right. Um, I think it's time to maybe sleep. Eh, 
Uh, no, you know what? I don't have to. I'm going to go over here because the, uh, the flagellant can just heal up in the fight. We should be okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so they just take less cut. That's still good, though. All right, I'm going to go in this bag. What do we got? If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Hey, it's going to help staunch the flow, narrator. Ancestor. Um, aw, oh, man. I gotta eat. That's a shame. I was really hoping that that didn't go off. Well, now I'm in a bad, kind of a tough spot with food. We're running low. Oh my god. But we surprised him. Perfect. Whew, this is getting brutal. Alright, let's see. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and um, exsanguinate uh, on uh, the brawler. Bam. Heal up, put the bleed on. That guy's dead. I mean, that's how good the uh, the flagellant can be. I was down, right, like significantly on health, and then with one ability, we kill this guy and and heal to full. Very, very fancy. All right, I'm gonna. Oh no, no, we're gonna get stressed out now, big time. That's a shame. All right, let's just stun this dude. Can you... Well, we can stun one of them. Let's go ahead and get this. Stress wave. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, man. The Crusader has been so boss at dodging. It's just unreal. He is not getting broken at all. He is not getting stressed. He's just like, I am not worried. All right. Let's see here. So... We've got this shaman here that we need to take out. He only has 10 stun resist, so let's try to stun him again. Let's see if... There we go. So he's going to get stunned. Now we can just concentrate on the front. That's a big hit, dude. Big hit. But it's good to hit um, the flagellant because he can heal. Oh, wow. Crow, and I have to say that's really interesting. It's so fascinating to see how these things shake out. Oh, he dodged. Or she dodged. Woof. Didn't need that. <laughs> yes, John Shriver. We will find out where we're at with your epic tale. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. Have a good evening. All right, we're just going to flay this one up. Boom. And then... You're stunned, so you can't do anything. Let me just give you this. Impressive. It, it feels like that, Thudding Horns. It feels like this Crusader just can't be stopped. Sometimes that happens, like where you just have a character that's through the roof. That is this character... All right, um, this five, five, yeah, you're dead. All right. Look at that. Boom. Well, no, don't say that, yeah, I hope not. We're, I'm going to go ahead and try to cure the, uh, the plague doctor again. Boom, got it. All right, cool. Success so clearly in view. <laughs> we have to leave or behind 25 gold. That's fine. We can do that. Light? Oh, we did it. Oh, that was so lucky. We didn't even actually have to camp. I thought that I hadn't scouted the last room. So, um, it worked out. Perfect. All right, then. Let's go ahead. We did win. We could continue adventuring and just go try to open this treasure chest. It's a interesting consideration to see if it's worth it or not. We don't have a key which stinks. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Fading. What we could do is um, 
yeah, we could camp and reduce stress, right? We could also um, turn out the torch all the way and open this chest and see if we get anything good. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. All right, let's see what we got. Um, you got any anti-stress here? No, no, no. We need some... We need, like, a pep talk. You got a pep talk? Yeah, here's an actual pep talk. Um, and then... Terrific. Okay, so... We need... You to stand tall right here. I like how the flagellant is not facing the fire. Do you guys see that? He's just got his back to the fire. That's pretty hilarious. I mean, he just wants to warm up his back, I guess. Maybe it has some fresh wounds, and he's looking to get them, you know, a little bit of love. Some self-inflicted wounds, might I add. All right, let's go ahead and give the pep talk to the plague doctor. Yeah, he must be cauterizing them. It feels like that. And then, anybody else got anything we can do? Let's see... Uh, remove disease. Scouting chance increased. It's not really that good. Heal. Remove bleeding and blight. Meh. He might be. He might be like, I don't like you guys. You know what it is. They probably didn't make the food that he was hoping for. He was really looking for, you know, some surf and turf. And they threw together, like, Camp Chili. And he's like, Puh, I don't eat that. Self-medicate. This needle is for me, finally. Did you see that? His response to self-medication. <laughs> this needle is for me. Or not her, not his response. I'm sorry, her response. Her response was hilarious. She's just like, this one. This is my special concoction. I use it for myself. All right, cool. Um... We don't really need anything else, so I'll just scout, and then we will rest. <laughs> they should have. That puts hair on your chest, Sir Theodore. Oh, that's funny, thudding. Um, yeah, they, they overcooked it. He was like, guys, come on, what did I tell you? All right, I'm going to just, uh, yeah, JR, I actually didn't bother with the heal only because I'm not, uh, you heal up for free when you get back home. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Um, I'm going to turn out the torch. And now the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Black as death. Boom. All right, we're going to click on this and... I don't think any of these help. I'm going to try. No effect. No effect. All right, fine. Boom. We opened it. Finding cool. The stuff is only Look at the this. Test. Now it must be carried home. Got it. All right. So we were able... Oh, man. This music with no torches is... Or the sound effect is really upsetting. Um, but we did get some blood. And we got more deeds. Which we need... That's a good question, JR. So you put out the torch because you see when you when you have the stress when you have the torch out, you see that it says loot plus plus plus, so it gives you better treasure. So you try to like open the treasure chest with the torch out and you get better stuff. However, um, it makes the monster stronger, it gives you more stress, on and on and on. There's reasons you don't want to do it, but it worked out for us there. All right, we're going home. The pungent odor abates. The things are driven back for a time. For a time. You know, for a short time. Boom, look at all this. 9,000 in treasure, plus the gold, plus this gold. And then we got six deeds, plus these five deeds, 16 crests, and four busts. 
pretty good haul. Additionally, um, let's see what happens. Uh-oh. I got a blight. That's not good. Spotted fever. Well, that's bad. Um, Peacock is now a perfectionist. And, oh, a wheeled scrounger. Okay. And Exanimo is a clutch hitter. Well, those are... That's good. Not bad. Could have been worse. Yeah, you're right, JR. 10,000 is so good. So strong. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Oh, it works right before you win a fight, Thudding? That's interesting. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, so maybe if I'm about to get the last hit, I turn off the torch completely and then win the fight. Now, of course, it's only good if you have enough torches, but if it's near the end of the run, you can completely do something like that. All right. So I need to put myself in uh, here to get rid of my disease. Let's get rid of this. I really don't feel well at all. Well, yeah, it happens. Um, okay. Terrific. Now... We've got a bit of work to do. So, um, I'm just going to go down the list and start naming people. So, this is a shield breaker named Anzure. And we're going to rename this hero. Um, I believe that uh, Sir Theodore was the first one that we saw. So there we go. Sir Theodore is a shield breaker. Very good. And then um, Reynold we keep because that's the name of the uh, starting character. And then we can rename Goddard. Um, oh, actually, you know what? You're right. That's a good point, Sir Theodore. Let's do that. You're a knight. That's a good question, JR. Let's look. We'll just call this one... There we go. Um, so this is fading at the edges. My buddy is in there. And then... Um, Game off. Okay, yeah, here we go. Let's just name you this Crusader right here. This is um, Reynold, which is the starting character. And we will just rename this starting Crusader Sir Theodore. Perfect. There we go. And then, let's see. I know that we promised, um, hey, that's right, white armor. It is perfect. Let's go ahead and rename this occultist. Um, I know we said uh, John Shiver is going to be in. And then we need to put thudding horns in here. Um... Let's see. Thudding, do you mind being a uh, jester? You are. A, you have been making jokes. It seems appropriate. Perfect. Let's see. Um, we got John. We got Fading. We got Thudding. Conrad. Yeah, let's get Conrad in here as, um, let's see. And by the way, we have to just get crazy with the, uh, the gender is not something we care about. Exanimo is the, uh, plague doctor. We just, we're just very gender- Gender free here. Um, Crowan and Kaiten. Okay, perfect. Let's just go in here. And let's see. Uh huh. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I won't. Good call. Thank you for reminding me of that. 
JR. All right. Okay, let's see. How about, um... Yeah. I hate to make, uh... <laughs> Sir Squeebles an abomination. But then again, I'm a flagellant, so... It makes sense. Whatever. We're all whatever. Perfect. JR, you are down here. Um, and you are getting worked on for some reason. Where are you? Oh, you're at the Abbey. You're, um... Working on your stress by praying to a higher power. So you're still, um... Here you are, JR. You've got your eye patch and your candles and you're praying with this highly questionable looking dude here. Okay. So we've got 12,000 money, um, and that's very, very strong. Let's look to upgrade some of our stuff, right? So our stagecoach is pretty good, um, but we want to make sure that we can upgrade our hero barracks. We're not there. We can do this and then um, make it so that sometimes we get heroes that are already level 1 instead of level 0, which is interesting. Or, we can go over here and look at the guild, and we could maybe... Now, we don't have anything. We can't level up the guild. Can we level up the blacksmith? Oh, that's right, JR. Yeah, we can, like, mix and match um, to upgrade. We could do the furnace to reduce the cost, but it costs a lot of deeds to make that happen. Seems not that great. Um... Anything we want to build here? Uh, I don't know. Well, we don't have very much money. Puppet theater. Oh, my God. Idle stress relief in town. I mean, this is so good, but it, it costs a lot. I mean, and it costs a lot. These are really sweet. They just cost too much. I can't build it. Um, that's this dude. All right. No, 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 no. How do I um, go to my facilities that I have built? Oh, that's right. You click this, and so you can trade if you need it, right? Um, In time, you oh, will know no, I don't need the ancestors. Of my failings. Yeah, the, it, it is very tragic and extensive, all of those things. Um... Yeah, I think, honestly, if I'm going to fix something on the stagecoach, I think we just save up for boosting the stagecoach a little more and just sit happily with what we have. So we want to go back to Embark Screen and look at our... Um, we got the cove up to level 2, which is funny. Let's see what else is offered. Yeah, that's a good call, JR. I really might. Um, God, are there any short ones anywhere? All right, this is perfect, actually. Here we go. So we're going to provision for this, but we need to short by activity, and then... Uh, oops. Let's go all the way to the top. I have to come out. So... We need somebody in the number two slot. Um... Now, the Shield Breaker wants to be in the first position. Is the Shield Breaker the one that has the nightmares that, like, you have to actually get through? I might want to take the Shield Breaker just so I can get rid of these nightmares. I hear that the Shield Breaker is a really good character, but there's something that happens, like, when you're at a, <laughs> at a campsite, she has a bad dream, and you have to fight stuff. However, at a short scenario that doesn't play into it so we can just put the crusader number two and then just go like this if we want it right okay thudding thank you for clarifying that but we could also start leveling up some other people if we wanted right so I, yeah, I, I only used a shield breaker one time fading, and I died doing it. Let's think about this. Uh, 
uh, yeah, we died during the nightmare. It was the only time that we, we lost. We didn't actually wipe. We had to run from the encounter, but we lost the, uh, the Howlmaster because of it. I had to abandon. I had to run back to town. It was so bad. All right, let me sink. We got a level two plague doctor. Now, I think this is fine, you know, and what we'll do is just try to get some of these people up so that they're veteran status. And let's go into the blacksmith. So they're bad at first, but they get better. That's cool. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta warm them up. All right, so let's see. Shield breaker can't do anything for you here. Um, cause you're level zero, but what about the guild? We can, like, mess with your skills. Anything that we want you to learn. Expose, captivate, um, this might be good. So let's learn these skills for, and then, oh yeah, actually let's go back into the blacksmith and make sure that we upgraded all of our stuff. No, we didn't. Yeah, it's expensive, but we need to get all of our equipment premium. There we go. Now we have all premium gear, so that's sweet. Perfect. All right. Well, this is tremendous, and we're ready to go for the next run, um, but I have to get up really early tomorrow morning, so I am going to keep the progress here and pick up with this next time yeah i know six thousand jr everyone i want to thank you so much for coming out to the stream um it was so much fun to play this game again and now we have a whole bunch of new friends on our roster um you'll never have your nightmare fester thudding that's a really good one you're good with coming up with these little ditties on the fly i love it yep yeah, fading jr thudding sir theodore kaitan Crowen, Conrad, everyone, thank you so much for coming out. Good night. You're now immortalized for as long as you can stay alive um, or my incompetent self can keep you alive on the squad. And I can't wait to see what we all do. But we'll get into that next time. Take care, everyone. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you guys soon. Farewell. Good night. Immortalized until you die. Exactly, comrade. But then you'll be immortalized in the graveyard in the game, and we can come visit your grave. Take care, everybody.